Endless waiting for any information to eliminate us of what is in effect for Gears of War 4 is finally over. These days, thanks to an exclusive coverage of Game Informer, we captured a lot of information on the campaign of Gears of War 4. Information that will not only allow us to have a clearer picture of what to expect, but also to make new conjectures and hypotheses of what has not yet been revealed. But let's start with the order. Coalition has finally revealed the setting of the new chapter. Gears of War 4 is set about 25 years after the events of Gears of War 3, and has three new playable characters, JD Phoenix, Delmont, Del Walker, and Kate Diaz. The co-op will be with two players, the first uses JD, and the second will choose between Del and Kate, with minimum differences in storytelling. The planet Sarah is finally free from the threat of the Lambent Pathogen and humans, unfortunately reduced to a few hundred thousand, having experienced an unprecedented era of peace. However, the counter-offensive developed by Adam Phoenix has also destroyed all forms of fossil fuel, and has shocked the ecosystem of the planet so much to cause the complete climatic instability of the entire world. The new coalition of organized governments, born after the dissolution of the original, brought together the remaining population within fortified city-states to protect citizens and grow up to revive the human civilization, but do not all share the approach taken by the call to repopulate the planet. A second faction of humans, called Outsider, begins to form their own communities in the wilds of Sarah. The tension between the groups grows when Outsider tries to penetrate in the settlements of the Cog to obtain resources. In the interview, Rod tried to deepen the two factions in opposition, defining the Cog as a kind of hyper-protective father who wants to preserve human life at the cost of his own freedom. On the other hand, the Outsider considers freedom an absolute value and as an ideology more like the motorcycle gangs of the 70s, a life lived freely, not militarized and not bound by limitations and by rigid laws. In this sense, they follow the philosophy of the Stranded, but most likely no longer exist as a distinct group. The team of Vancouver has been looking for artistic inspiration to create scenarios of this new world, and in the end they have opted for some places of northern Italy. The structure of the city-state built by the Cog is strongly inspired by the late Renaissance town of Palmanova in Friuli Venezia Giulia. The fort that we could observe during the E3 2015 demo resumes instead some elements from Forte Finestrelle, an ancient locality near Turin. Finally, much of the forest and mountain scenarios that we'll see in Gears of War 4 are inspired by the views of the Italian Dolomites, a perfect scenario characterized by steep crests and rugged areas. The Italian inspiration, however, is not really new to the franchise. In Gears of War Judgment, the city of Halvo Bay is very reminiscent of the city of Venice, with the main canal separating the buildings with architecture distinctly European. In Gears of War Ultimate Edition instead, Phoenix Estates Garden has been heavily renovated, making it very similar to some Italian gardens on Lake Maggiore and Lake Como. New characters have very different perspectives and a well-marked personal history. JD Phoenix is, as we have already stated at the time of E3 2015, the son of legendary war hero Marcus Phoenix. We continue to believe that his full name is Jonathan Dominic because of the great importance of Adam Jonathan Phoenix as a historical character from the series, a character that unfortunately was able to get the whole human race in trouble once again with his invention. JD is an idealist like his father. He flees at a young age to join the Cog Militia, and for many years he worked his way up to the level of lieutenant. However, after a classified accident, he is forced to move away and has been defined as AWOL. He will find refuge in a village of outsiders together with his friend Delmont Del Walker. The abbreviation of the name seems to be a clear tribute to Dominique Dom Santiago. Del was an orphan. He was forged a deep bond of friendship with JD at the boarding school time and followed the friend through the ranks of the COG, then outside the safe territory becoming in turn AWOL. The Coalition said that the player can find more about the classified incident and the reason of JD's estrangement from Marcus during the campaign. Finally, we have Kate Diaz, daughter of the leader of the Outsider, born and raised outside the militarized COG world. The girl's father tragically died years before, while her mother, Rena, is still the leader of her people. She became friends with two ex-soldiers, but soon this unlikely trio will be sorely tested by the mysterious kidnapping of all the villagers, including Kate's mother. The research mission of the Outsider allows the three to discover the existence of a new and terrible enemy, the Swarm. Inside the pod seen during the demo, in fact, there were some humanoid pale creatures called Juvies, which constitute the first instance of a new army of angry monsters. The trio suspect that the appearance of the swarm has to do with the extinction of the locust, whose bodies were piled into mass graves after the war, but to find out the truth, the three will have to deal with the violent storms and the wilds of Sarah. The character wallpapers that we have seen show us that they all wear a classic cog armor, without lower protections maybe to make them lighter. Kate, in particular, wears an armor identical to the one of Anya. Just look at the details to realize that they are identical. We know that at the beginning of Gears 4, JD and Dell find refuge at the Outsider camp, but it's unclear if whether we will explore the area and learn about civic life, 
or if we'll start playing after the kidnapping of Reyna and the rest of the villagers. The official artwork shows also the protagonists with civilian clothes, so it's possible that there will be more variety of situations in Gears 4. The Coalition explained that in addition to the enemies of the swarm, the worst threat for the human survival are the atmospheric storms. The team has created a new 4 level intensity system for the storms called Wind Flares. At level 1, the climate changes are reported by the movement of foliage, a strong breeze that begins to push the environmental elements such as sand and water. With the next step, the wind becomes more intense and the player must pay more attention to what happens around him. In a 3 level storm, the player feels to be pushed by the wind. And of course, also the trajectory of the projectiles or the drop shot is diverted. The purpose is to make the player sensitive to wind and to force him to change strategy if a weapon used safely up to that time becomes unstable and dangerous. With a strong headwind, even the bullets will go back, becoming extremely dangerous. The wind allows also changes in the environment. Some covers will become unstable and could leave the ground and fly away. For example, focusing the fire on a heavy machinery and bandon, the latter could start moving to the effect of the force of the wind and hit enemies in your path. The team wants the player to stop and observe what has changed around him following a storm, and to think strategically in the course of combat. Even enemies suffer the effects of wind, so if we destroy their cover and make them vulnerable, they could in turn take flight or be thrown against other walls. Unlike the previous situation, a level 4 wind flare will not include enemies, because the elements involved will be so powerful and dangerous to constitute themselves a battle for survival. The team has initially suggested the introduction of the enemies at all levels of the storms, but then testing those level 4 storms, they realized that the only stimulating challenge for survival was exciting, moving between covers, cross the area while avoiding the electric shock from the sky, and facing off extreme situations. The most interesting aspect of this information of the plot is that Gears 4 seems to be considerably richer on a narrative level than in the past, or rather unlike Gears 3, where much of the background was contained in the books and the player was immediately catapulted into the action without having the time to understand the story. Here, it has reserved a lot of space to the development of the characters. This story will be intimate, the events will not be too large scale, and the fighting will not be exaggerated, but there will always be a tangible presence of something bigger. And this was our video news dedicated to the campaign of Gears of War 4. Let's take a look at our next video about the new enemies, weapons, and brand new mechanics of the game. Did you see that?